A Chicago woman dedicated to improving life for people in the city living on the streets is hosting a sleep out on the Lower West Side tonight. Yeah, it got underway not that long ago. Jewel Hillary is live there with the story tonight. Jewel. Hi, good evening, Lourdes and Ray. Right now, we're under the underpass at 20th and Canalport, where several men and women sleep in tents. And tonight, in spite of the frigid temperatures, a crowd of people, many who have flown in from out of state, are joining those men and women for a sleep out tonight, where they're raising awareness about homelessness and raising money for a shelter. Additional tents are being set up for people participating in the sleep out under the 20th and Canal Port underpass Monday night. They're helping Dr. Aletta Clark, more commonly known as Inglewood Barbie, raise money to build a shelter for the men and women who call the underpass home. We're out here going to spend the night in order to raise awareness and support for her cause and generally, you know, to, to bring attention to the crisis of houselessness. I'm so grateful that I have so much support out here right now for the friends. And I hope that this is a lesson to just people all over the world, like stop being so judgmental. Mayoral candidate Commissioner Brandon Johnson is among the crowd of supporters. She is out here calling attention to the lives and to the friends who have been ignored. It cannot remain this way, Chicago. We cannot call ourselves a world-class city. And there are people who are living under viaducts. Richard Daly says he's grateful for people like Barbie and the many others who are sacrificing to help him get on his feet. It's an, it's an inspiration, you know, what they're doing for us, you know. You know, they're coming out of their, you know, daily routine to come and do, to help us out, you know what I'm saying? And I love it. It's just beautiful. Early in February, Inglewood Barbie says she and a group who live in the tents were asked to leave Hyatt House, even though they had a reservation. At the time, a representative from the hotel told WGN that the reservation was canceled before the group arrived because the reservation did not include a real name, raising security concerns. On February 9th, the hotel rep told us the hotel offered to rebook the group for a one week stay, which was all that was available at the time, and the group declined. Inglewood Barbie says that's not true, but she acknowledges the hotel's apology. I appreciate the apology because, you know, they don't have to apologize. So I definitely appreciate it, but I expect more. Since the incident, she's been dedicated to sleeping in a tent near the men and women she calls the friends until she can raise $1 million to build a shelter. So far, $120,000 have been raised through her organization, Hugs No Slugs. But I do believe that I will have a real solid opportunity available for them that's attached to love, respect, and integrity. Now, the sleep out really is just getting underway. Anyone interested in joining and participating is welcome to come by at 20th and Canal Port. Folks are expected to be out here through 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Also, if you're interested in learning more about helping Inglewood Barbie in her efforts to raise money for that shelter, you can learn more by clicking on this story on our website at WGNTV.com. Reporting live from the Lower West Side tonight, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.